Yoga Guppy. Namaste and welcome to Yoga Guppy. I am Rashmi. Are you ready for a super fun yoga adventure that involves Santa and his reindeers in the North Pole? Before we begin, we're going to shake our bodies, get some magic in so that we're all set to practice yoga together. Are you ready? Let's start shaking your hands, shake your legs, shake one leg out to the side, shake your other leg out to the side, shake your whole body and stop. Time for us to explore our yoga story. Are you ready? Let's go! Yoga Gapi! Once upon a time, there was an alpaca named Al. Can you become like Al the alpaca? You step one leg forward, step one leg to the back and raise your hands up. Alpacas tend to have long necks. So show me a long neck. Very good. Now, Al had a little bit of a problem. You see, every December, he loved to bring out his Christmas tree and decorate it with the most colorful and beautiful decorations. But this time around, Al went to look for his Christmas tree and his Christmas tree was broken. It was broken into two halves. Can you become like a broken Christmas tree? We're going to try. You step your leg up and balance. And now, show me how the Christmas tree bends. So you bend down and see if you can touch the ground. Can you find your balance? Very good. Now, Al saw that his Christmas tree was broken and he knew what he needed to do. There was a very special glue that was available only with Santa Claus and only in the North Pole. Al lived really far away from the North Pole, so he decided that it was time for him to fix his Christmas tree and go all the way to the North Pole to get the special glue. Al decided that because it was so far away, he wanted to ask a friend to join him. So he first asked his friend, Sandy the snake. Can you become like Sandy the snake? Lie down on your tummies. Keep your hands close to your chest. Breathe and lift your head up and lift your chest up and go hiss. One more time, breathe in and go hiss. Now, Al went to Sandy and he said, Hey Sandy, you know my Christmas tree, it's all broken and I don't know what to do. Do you think you can help me? But Sandy felt like that was just too far away. He said, Oh Al, that's really, really far away. I don't think I can slither that long. So Al decided to go ask somebody else. He walked along and he found his friend, Betty the Bat, who was in deep slumber. Can you become like Betty the Bat? So you sit down on your mat and grab hold of your big toes, stretch both your legs out, but Betty the Bat was sleeping. So how will you become like a sleeping bat? You bend down and drop your head down. Very good. So Al went up to Betty the Bat and he said, Hey Betty, wake up. Betty barely could open her eyes and she said, Oh Al, I'm sleeping, don't disturb me. Al couldn't go with his friend Sandy the snake. Betty the bat just wouldn't wake up. So Al decided that he would go all by himself all the way to the North Pole. And you know how he went? He used a very special animal aeroplane. Let's become like this animal aeroplane. Stand up, keep your back straight, stretch both your hands out to the side and stretch one leg to the back Find your balance. Very good. So Al flew for many hours and finally he reached the North Pole. He looked around and it was full of snow. It was freezing cold. And you know what else he saw? He saw so many reindeer. 
He had never ever seen so many reindeer in his life. Can you become like a reindeer? First show me your reindeer horns. Very good. Now step one leg forward and one leg to the back and show me your reindeer horns. Very good. Now Al went looking around to see where Santa was. There seemed to be a big problem and nobody could find Santa. So Al decided that he would try. So he searched everywhere and then he went close to Santa's office and he saw Santa sitting very sadly with his hand on his head. Al wondered what was wrong. He said, Hey Santa! Santa looked up at him and you know what happened? Santa's beard was all gone. Santa said, My beard is all gone. The children are not going to recognize me. I got so busy. I was writing cards to all the children and there was a little candle right there and it burnt my beard and I don't know what to do. Now you know, Al was a very smart alpaca and he had a lot of wool that could be used. So Al said, Santa, I have an idea. Why don't you take my wool and we'll make a beard out of it. And the children will never know that that's not your real beard. So you know what Al the alpaca did? He started spinning and started removing all his wool out. Let's spin. Let's spin, 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 keep spinning. And stop. All of his wool, he gave it to Santa and made a nice, lovely beard. Santa was happy that he had a beard now and the children would recognize him. And you know what Santa gave Al as a present? He gave Al the alpaca a brand new Christmas tree. Al was so happy that he got his brand new Christmas tree and that he could help Santa. Now, this tree that Santa gave was special because it was much bigger and it had beautiful decorations. So I want you to show me your Christmas tree. So I want you to grab hold of one leg and show me a big Christmas tree with beautiful decorations. Very nice. Can we do it on the other side as well? Show me your Christmas tree. Stretch your leg out. Good job. Al went home feeling so happy with this new Christmas tree. And I hope you're happy too after listening to the story of Al and Santa. And I hope you enjoy Christmas. Remember to subscribe to Yoga Guppy so that we can practice yoga with lots of stories and music. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.